right, so last time we pretty much got the basics of the front end setups. So this time I wanted to get these uh, links working because those currently do not work. So this should be a pretty quick and easy video. Um, okay, so in our view, which is, yeah, or no, we need the post one. Okay, so we have the link here and we just need to link that to to something. So uh, I'm just going to do a use the slug that's already in our database. Uh, so we have a slug column on our post model in our post table and when it's available in our model because of the way Laravel works. Uh, so we can have that and I'm going to set this. Uh, I guess I'll do a post and then the slug. Okay, so now we need to set up that route, uh, which will basically be this. So we're going to do route get post and then the slug. And that's a little syntax that uh, just basically tells um, Laravel to make this a variable or it uh, matches on a, a regular expression. So it just looks for anything that matches this pattern and then will give you the what's get passed in what gets passed into the slug section into um, a parameter into your controller so we'll do show and then we need to go to the blog controller and add our show method and this is going to be I think we get the slug in here so then we want to get the post equals the post uh, and so we could do something like where slug is slug first, don't fist it, <laughs> return the view uh, post dot show and then pass in the post. Okay, so that could work, um, but I don't particularly like this uh, like method of writing our query uh, when we can kind of keep it a little bit cleaner, at least initially. So what I would like to do is add a, a static method because that's how we're going to access it. And we're going to say find by slug, since that's what we're going to be passing in. And then essentially we're going to take what we have here, or here, and we're going to return that. And so we can do find by slug, passing the slug. So really not any different, um, but I think it just kind of keeps our controller a little bit cleaner and we don't have to worry about stuff as much, or we don't have to look at as much code. We, we can kind of generally know what's happening when we look at find by slug, we know we're gonna return a slug. So that should work except that we don't have a post uh, view yet. So we can actually, we should probably just go ahead and try to view this and see that we get back method not found HTTP exception. Po oh, okay. So did the post get saved or maybe we just need to refresh on this page. Okay. Okay. So yeah, now we're getting that and now we don't have a post show. So, uh, but for between this episode and the last one, I went ahead and finished out the front end for the basic page of the about and the contact. They're really boring. And I didn't want to waste everybody's time just going through some really simple things. So now we will move this post um, HTML template into a blade. And we're going to go ahead and put that in post show blade.php set our syntax highlighting for Laravel blade. And I think we can probably go ahead and extend the layout file that we created uh, the last time, uh, which will allow us to kind of keep some stuff um, relatively clean. So we might as well do that. And all right, so what can we get rid of? Uh, we can get rid of all that. I know that's all the same. We're gonna leave that for now. I think all this we can get rid of. We know we have the nav bar, so we don't need to worry about that. 
Now, one thing I will mention, I guess, um, what I did end up doing is in the layouts, I created a section for, yeah, the header. So that yields the header now. And so all of these now send back a header uh, just because that way it was, it's different between each one and we could have gone through and maybe set like uh, an array to pass to the header. Uh, but I just wanted to keep it really simple so that we can keep moving because I didn't think it was that big a deal. Um, and there's, yeah, I guess, yeah, we could have easily just sent through what the image was, the title and the subheading. And I think they're all the same basically. So yeah, we could have done that, but uh, I just kept it simple and we're just moving on. So no big deal. Okay. So anyway, back to show. Now this one, I wanted to be a little bit different anyway, uh, because, well, now we're getting back the uh, post. So, okay, that'll work. All right, so actually, yes, that is gonna stay the same. So now we will create a section for our header here. All right. There's that. Uh, now we should already have a post. So we know that this is going to be the post title. Uh, the subheading, I don't know if we know that yet. Here we know from the before, we can do post author name, and then we're gonna do the date again, which was uh, post created at format day and year. Okay, and then we wanna move, I guess this post content, all of this into our section content. And the rest of this we can get rid of. All right, so we'll dump this in here for the moment. Line that up, and then uh, so one thing, I, another section I added was a, a title, and that was just to keep stuff a little bit nice. Uh, and so this is going to be sample post, and really what that'll be is. Post title. All right. So with any luck, we should get something back now. Okay. So this is kind of working, except there's a big white blob. And if we select, we can see, okay, so what's happening is we're not getting our um, image here. And it's because like I mentioned in the, one of the videos before, without this, it does a relative path. And so if we just add this, it'll go back to root and then show our image that way. So that works pretty well. Uh, so that's pretty much the basics there. Looks like another image. So this is a path to an image that is in the content here, but we don't have, I mean, we can add it right now, but it's not set up in our database. So this is just be for, you know, whatever reason. And you can see our footers already working, which is pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically, there you go. Now you have it for any post. So we can come back to the home. We can check out this sample post and that's all going to be the same because uh, we haven't changed the content yet, right? So that's going to be our next step. So the content basically fills in everything in this div. And there's some section headings here and like these H2s. Uh, and we may have to go in and, and adjust our styles a little bit to accommodate that. So I'm going to cut it, uh, oops, did I get yep, a little bit too greedy there? All right. We'll paste that there just to look at it later. Uh, and then, so now we're going to have, we need to escape this content. So we're going to have to put the little curly brace, double exclamation part thing around it. Uh, is it called body or is it called content? I can't remember. Body. Yeah. Okay. So now if we come back and we check out one of these. Okay. So now we're getting a different content. Yeah. We basically have our site working. And then in the next episode, we'll work on adding a subtitle 
to our post um, admin and model and everything so we can replace the subtitles on each of these pages. So let's stick around.